Now let's see the standard units of measurement. So what are standard units and what are non-standard units? Standard unit in the sense it should be accepted by everybody. It should be the same in each and every case wherever whoever measures that it should be same. But non-standard in ancient days people used to follow the non-standard units to measure the things. Say for example here we have foot. To measure the distance of a room they used to use their foot length. So 20 by 30 feet. 20 by 30 feet they used to walk and see the 20 by 30 feet is the size. So that they used to take it as a unit for the measurement of distance. But is it standard? No. Why it is not standard? Because the length of the foot may vary from person to person. Some people they may be having short foot which is around 8 inches or 9 inches. Some people may be having 10 to 11 inches of foot. So the size of the foot is different. It's unique for each person. It is different, varied. So which is not same in all cases, it is not standard. So it is a non-standard unit of measurement. Then the cubit. Cubit is the length between the elbow to the tip of the finger. This is the cubit. So the cubit length also was used in ancient world to measure the things, to measure different items. Even you see now, nowadays, if you go to a temple and then you can find the flower garlands are measured by this cubit. You can see the cubits, right? But this is also not standard unit of measurement. How can you say that it's not standard? Because it, it doesn't meet the parameter. That is, everybody's cubit is not same. Mine may be larger. If the person is so short, his hands are very small. It's a very small cubit. There is a lot of variation, right? If I buy flowers from a person who is having a big cubit, I'll be benefited. If I buy flowers from the person who is very short, I'll be lost, right? So that is the cubit. So it is also a non-standard unit of measurement. Next one is also hand span. Using the hand span, if you stretch your hand, the distance between the tip of your thumb and the distance between, uh, between your thumb and your pinky, that is your little hand, little finger. So this distance is the hand span. So the hand span is also used to measure the distances. So that was also not a standard unit. And width of the finger, angle. In ancient India, they used to use their fingers angled. And this is the mutti, fist. So this is the size comparison. Okay. And they used to follow the foot and cubit. And they used to measure the cloth, one yard of cloth, by holding the cloth, holding in this way, the ending of the hand till their chin. If they open the cloth like this and that volume of the cloth is considered as one yard. So that was the measurement. But all these are non-accurate units of measurement because they vary from person to person. So it's not standard. Right. So what we are talking is that standard unit of measurement. Then what is the standard unit of measurement? When was it found? Where was it found? Where was it determined? That was in French, by French. By French people in France, it was done in 1780. The standard unit of measurement, it was given as one meter. One meter. So what is one meter? It is a length decided that particular length as one meter. Everybody should take that particular length as one meter. So that one meter is divided into 100 centimeters. So they have taken one long scale and they have given this particular length a name that is meter and it is given some divisions, 100 divisions, 100 centimeters equal to one meter. Now each centimeter is having 10 millimeters. That means 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. So this meter, it was accepted by the whole unit, all the world. So that is considered as standard unit of measurement, international system of units, SI unit system, international units. That means international in the sense all the nations accepted that. 
international system of units SI system there you find 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeters so 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters that is the standard unit so everywhere you can buy a meter scale if you go to a tailor he uses a meter scale if you go to a carpenter he uses a tape which is measured with meters 1 meter 2 meter so all this is done in the similar way standard wherever you go if you take a meter scale it will show only 100 centimeters not 50 centimeters 70 centimeters they cannot put the choice of their own okay they cannot put the number of their own choice they should keep that 100 centimeter for 1 meter they should divide the 1 meter scale into 100 centimeter and they cannot the, say, take the centimeter of their own choice the centimeter must be having 10 millimeters and overall 1000 millimeter should make 1 meter that is the standard unit of length right this is for to measure the smaller length if to measure the long length like distance between two places as earlier I told the distance between Kerala and Delhi it is 2600 kilometers there I used the word kilometers so the bigger unit of meter is kilometers thousand meters is equal to one kilometer that is the bigger unit so this is the standard unit of measurement using a hand span using a cubit using foot using other body parts to measure the things is not accurate because they are varied from person to person so it will be different from person to person it's not standard so the standard unit of measurement is meter so now let us see we have seen the standard unit of measurement is meter so we follow the same even you take the same unit of measurement to do your class work in your mathematics or in physics if you have to draw any diagrams given by your teacher you use a scale a ruler that is found in your geometry box so you may be using a small scale small ruler which is having the graduation up to 15 centimeters these are centimeters now let's see how to use your scale properly there are certain rules by which you can use your scale properly to get exact result to measure the distances properly if you do not use this scale properly you may go for a wrong value you may not be able to measure the distance accurately say for example here you have a box this is the box how do you measure the length of this box here is the box so you have placed at the scale see that the first point hold the scale properly see that the scale is aligned straight don't keep the scale like this or like this see the edges of the box and the scale they are aligned properly then you can take the measurement you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and you have crossed 7 centimeters after crossing 7 centimeters there are tiny markings which show the millimeter so after crossing 7 you have gone to 3 that means 7.3 centimeter that means till 7 centimeter you have crossed 7 and you crossed 3 subsections smaller marks you can see here the bigger markings show the distance between centimeter here to here 1 centimeter here to here 1 centimeter in between you have 10 smaller lines small divisions right so the distance we have crossed here 7 we crossed but we didn't reach 8 so you cannot say that the length of the box is 8 centimeter because just we crossed 7 we didn't reach 8 so after crossing 7 how many divisions we crossed 3 so you count it as 7.3 centimeters and what care you have to take you should keep the scale or ruler straight don't keep it upside down tilted like this so by that you will get a wrong value that is the first point second thing is count properly see that you have kept the scale at the edge that is the zero point now zero to one one centimeter one to two two centimeter two to three three centimeter four centimeter five centimeter so the counting must be proper sometimes if your scale is broken like this at the edges you don't have the scale completely because the zero marking and some divisions are gone because it is a old scale or ruler the endings are worn out 
now you can start measuring from 1 right so you can count from 1 and you can see that till how many divisions it is coming then what to do in the final value say for example here you are using the scale this is one more box we have here so this is your scale but in your scale what happened is that the edges were broken you don't have the edges so here you have one two three four five six seven nine so you kept the scale like this to the box it started at one ended at nine so you cannot say that this is nine centimeter how comes it nine centimeters let us count this is here to here one centimeter here to here two centimeter here to here three centimeter here to here four here to here five here to here six here to here seven here to here eight it only eight centimeter not nine just you cannot take this number because you left one centimeter here you didn't start at zero if you start at one the final reading nine minus one because one you have left here so deduct that one you will get eight centimeter so if you are using your scale at one degree that is at one centimeter then you have to deduct one from the final value if you are using the scale right from the beginning that is from the zero centimeter then you can take the final value as your distance this is the way how you have to measure and you need to take one more care while using a scale you should see the value where the measurement ends matches with the scale exactly at the straight point at 90 degrees that means if this is your eye you should see like this you cannot see from side you cannot measure like this that will be wrong you cannot measure like this like this it should be straight to you so your view should be straight to the number which you are counting the position of the scale then you will get the exact value so these three points are to be kept in mind while measuring the distance of any object using a meter scale or a small scale or a tape or whatsoever it is if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus